Hi y'all, this is So So Blessed. Welcome to the Blessed Place. How y'all doing? One of my blessed ones asked me to do a video response to her question. And her question was, she said she saw um, one of my most recent videos I did with my sister entitled, um, should, I, should we give him the benefit of the doubt? Something like that. And in that video, we talked about how you can choose your friends and you don't have to wait for your friends to choose you. And if um, you've outgrown your friends or or their their season has expired, then, you know, you could cut your friends off. And I know that might sound cold, but, you know, that that's what we uh, mentioned in that video. And then this person inboxed me and said that, you know, they started out friends at, when they were young. And then um, after high school, this girl went on to have three more kids or two kids in high school, one out of high school. And she went on to college and not, and she said, not that she's saying she's any better than this young lady, this other, you know, this friend, but that she, the other girl is negative and about baby daddy drama and all that. And her life is moving in a different direction, a more positive direction or, you know, a more um, aspiring direction. And she wanted to know, how do you cut it off? She's like, how do you, how do you end a friendship that you have for so long? And without, I guess, without just seeming, you know, just pure cold or whatever. Um, my advice is you just have to do it cold. There is no easy way. There is no good way to end a friendship. I mean, there there is a better way and a worse way. But I wouldn't really say there is really a ideal good way of ending a friendship. Um, but I believe it's all about communication. I hate, hate, hate when people are not forthcoming about um, a situation, any situation. But, you know, you got people who avoid phone calls, um, hide from people, uh, try to avoid people, lie to people and say, oh, girl, I was busy or, oh, girl, I didn't know that you called me or, oh, my, f I misplaced my phone or, you know, I just hate when people lie about why they are not um, answering or getting back with or um, spending time with another person. I mean, the way I feel is woman up, man up. You know, be a woman about yours, be a man about yours, and tell the person why you are avoiding their phone call or why you don't want to talk to them. Um, in any type of situation, boyfriend, girlfriend, relationship, um, hopefully you're not doing that in a marriage, but um, any type of relationship that you own up to why this relationship is no longer working for you. So my suggestion would be is to talk to that person. Um, either wait till the next first time that person calls you. And I would say wait till that person calls you because I would never call up a person to tell them an ending relationship. Ladies, in a boyfriend, girlfriend situation, a dating situation, please don't call a man and tell him that you're just calling him to break up. That's a sidebar. I know that's, that's a whole nother topic, but that is so pathetic. If you've done it, just forgive yourself, ask yourself for forgiveness and move on, but don't ever do it again. Don't call a man just to tell him that you're breaking up with him because that is a farce. That is, that is just, he doesn't even believe you. <laughs> okay, back to our regularly scheduled program. So I went and called this friend and tell this friend that our relationship no longer ceased um, or, or uh, our relationship is no longer, you know what I mean. Our relationship is no longer in progress. <laughs> is a better way of saying it, but I will wait till that person calls me or texts me or something like that. I would not avoid the phone call. I wouldn't avoid the text. I would tell the person I would really like to talk to you. And I would talk to that person face to face. If you're in the same, you know, city or vicinity, uh, breaking up with someone either in a relationship you know, a, a boyfriend, girlfriend relationship, a marriage relationship, a dating relationship, a total platonic relationship, breaking up with somebody, that's another sidebar, breaking up with somebody over text is tacky and spineless. It's tacky and spineless. Like I said, unless for some reason that's your only choice. And I can't think of a situation where that's your only choice. But, it, but 
ask this person, can you meet with this person? Uh, you know, ask your friend, can you meet with them and talk to them? You don't have to be, con don't be condescending. Um, don't, you know, don't, you don't have to say, well, I'm doing this and you all about baby mama drama and you this. No, all you need to tell the person is, um, look, I love you. And I'm assuming you do love the person. I love you in my heart. You'll always be my girl, but I'm moving, we're moving in two different directions and every, every relationship, there's a season, there's a time and a season and the, the season for our relationship has expired. Um, I'm look, moving in a more positive direction. I've already told you several times that you're very negative. Every time we're together, you want to talk about drama. You want to talk about baby daddy drama. You want to talk about negative things that are pulling, you know, pulling us down. When we depart, I feel more depleted than energized. And that's just not what I want in my life. I'm sorry if this hurt you. It's not my intention to hurt you, but I just have to be honest and I have to be true and I have to be real. And hopefully you can appreciate my honesty. And you basically just have to leave it at that. And you got to know that this is truly what you want to do in your life. Because once you said that, there's no take backs. There's no, there's no, oh girl, I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. My bad. Um, I was just having a bad day. Don't just disregard what I said. Because once you put that out there, that's going to always stick with that person. So you have to, number one, make sure you are sure that this is what you want to do, that you're ready to sever the ties of this relationship. Then after you are sure, like I say, wait for that person to um, contact you and then ask to meet this person in person if that is at all possible. If that is not possible, then have this conversation over the telephone. Do not text a person this information. And then... Once you meet with the person, like I say, don't be condescending about it. Um, don't make it seem like, you know, I'm up here, you're down there. And, but just be real, you know, and just be honest <clears throat> and mention those things that I said that you have asp you know, higher aspirations of being around more positive people. And you've already, you know, told this person the things that you are, you know, you're no longer willing to take in a relationship and this person keeps bringing that negative energy to you. And that's basically all you can do. It's going to hurt. It's going to sting. And if it doesn't hurt, doesn't sting, then that person probably was never was your friend. But that person really was your friend. It's going to hurt them. It's going to hurt you. But you, you have to just say what you're going to say. Let your yay be yay, your nay be nay, and move on. Uh, and hope and 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 take the high road where no matter what you got to walk into that situation knowing that this person is already a negative person because that's why you're severing the ties so you got to realize that this person may curse you out this person may try to degrade you this person may try to make you feel guilty and tell you that you think you somebody now just because you got a little college education or you think you somebody because you acted all bougie or you think you something because of this or you think you something because of that or you ain't nothing this person might even try to use um, past conversations that you all have had. This person has been your confidant. Perhaps this person has been your confidant. Maybe you have shared some things with this person about your relationship, your past relationship with men, or or maybe about um, way you feel some kind of way about your mama, or maybe you know you you shared intimate relation, intimate information with this person, and now this person is hurt. They're already a negative person. Now they're hurt, so they may throw um, that stuff back at you. They might regurgitate that stuff. And vomit it back up to you. I know that was nasty, but, you know, I just had to use those words. But uh, that person might, you know, regurgitate that um, information back and throw it at you to hurt you. Because they're coming from a hurt place. They're hurting because now you're telling them, no matter what you told them, no matter what you said, all they heard was, I'm no longer good enough for you. And I know that that is not what you mean. If you are coming from a good place in your heart, that is not what you mean. But that's all that person heard. So that person is coming from a hurt place. So don't be mad when they regurgitate all of this stuff back at you. When they come back at you hard or come back at you strong or come back at you trifling or whatever. Take the high road. Just listen. Or I mean, you don't have to stay there and listen and take any verbal abuse. But I'm just saying, me personally, I would stay there and listen. I would let that person vent. And when that person was done, you know, venting or whatever, or, or whatever, they, I would just say, I understand that you're hurt, but my decision is final. God bless you. 
have a good life, you know, whatever. And that meeting would be would be over. Don't do this over any dinner when you, you where now y'all sitting in awkward silence and and you you know and you don't want to leave your food and she don't want to leave her food or she leaves you with the food with the ticket or you know you're like garçon garçon ticket please you know whatever it is so don't do it over dinner you know maybe over coffee or or maybe just you know over nothing but take the high road because this person is coming from a hurt place. And remember, this person was once your friend. You do have love for this person. And don't let this person change your character. You're becoming a better person. You're moving towards positivity, love, and light in your life. So don't let this person now go and change you back to the very thing that you're trying to get away from. So hopefully this was something that was beneficial to you and not just to my blessed ones that ask, but I'm sure there are a lot of people who want to know how to get out of negative relationships, especially uh, friendships and platonic relationships. How do I separate myself from this person who, this girl has been my girl since for the last 20 years. This girl, I mean, we, we done been in the ditches together. We done did some things that nobody know but me and her, you know, but there comes a time when we start to mature, when we start to change, when we start to um, be, our, our footsteps are starting to be ordered by God and maybe that person is not in going in that same direction and maybe not yet, you can be that light. You can be that light. But in the meantime, you can't be that light for that person if that person is continuing to bring you negative energy. So in the meantime, you might have to sever those ties, pray for that person, but continue to be that example, continue to be that light. And pray for that person because one day that person may start to walk in the light. And that person is going to appreciate that you took the lead. All right. Love y'all. Y'all be blessed. And thank you, blessed one, for that question and trusting me with your heart. And anybody who has a question, um, who needs some advice on anything, I am no expert, but um, I give it my best shot. Love y'all. Y'all be blessed.